What is going on ladies? I'm going to give you 30 healthy habits to implement in your life right now. So tip number one is always start your day off with water. I tell my Transformers Tribe girls this and they love it. It helps with digestion, it helps with bloating, and it helps keep you hydrated for the rest of the day. If you can drink at least one liter or 750 milliliters as soon as you wake up. So I just picked up a massive water bottle yesterday that is reusable and I still have to wash it out, but I did pick this up today. It is natural spring water. It is 1.5 liters and I'm gonna try and drink at least three of these have enough water with you at all times. I can bring this with me wherever I go. It doesn't matter if I'm going to the gym, if I'm going for a walk, if I'm working. Water is always by my side no matter what. All right, tip number two is first thing in the morning, I highly suggest you write out your goals, your gratitude, and something to keep you motivated during the day. So this is what mine looks like. It does not have to be complicating. Just fill it out. Five goals, five things you're grateful for, and your top two tasks. All right, now that that's done, number three is to listen to podcasts. This has completely changed the game for me. So usually in the car, I would listen to music or I would listen to whatever was on the radio. And I found myself just really getting lost, not focused, not clear with my direction. And I knew it came down to the junk of music I was listening to, the rap, the cursing, and all this other garbage. Mind you, I do like a good rap playlist when I'm working out to make me feel strong, but in the car, it's not something you wanna to listen to all the time, whatever your preference is, but I find a huge difference when I'm listening to something that inspires me, and that 100% is either worship music, like Hill Songs, or podcasts. Podcasts are huge, and my favorite podcast right now is Ed Milet. He is huge in terms of motivation, and mindset, and finding focus and direction. I'll link him in the description as well. Himalayan salt. Ladies, if you are not adding salt to your meals, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Not suggest adding table salt. I would not suggest adding table salt because table salt actually has all the vitamins and nutrients stripped. So Himalayan salt is amazing for you. It helps with even creating like muscle contraction, helps with your hydration. There are a million benefits to Himalayan salt, so I suggest you use them. All right, number five. Always, 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 ladies, have food prepared. I know you're living a busy lifestyle and it can be really hard to have food prepared and after a long day, the worst thing is to run through a drive-thru and just grab whatever you're craving. So to beat the blow and beat the craving, always have food in your fridge. So that could be vegetables, that could be protein, that could be anything you want. I highly suggest all my girls to have at least a couple meals on hand just so that they can grab and go when they're in a pinch and they don't have time to cook because that takes time and doing it all at once for the week is so much easier. The habit number six is I used to have really bad acne. I still struggle with it from time to time, especially around my period. So everybody's acne is different. And this is something that I experienced with ever since I was little. It's mainly hormonal. And there is a photo that describes where your acne is. So if you have acne more so on your forehead, that is typically food related. So I don't have a pretty clean diet, so I don't really get acne on my forehead. I will post the photo here so you guys kind of have an overview of your acne and what it's related to. But mine is all hormone related around my chin area. I do have more acne around my period time, but I found a huge difference in cleaning up my diet. And what I mean by that is sugar and dairy. So I did see a naturopath, and not to diss any naturopaths, but I didn't find the supplements help me as much as the whole foods help me. So a lot of times we like to run to supplements and pills to help us when Food is the number one way to cure anything, I swear. Food and exercise. So I have removed pretty much 99% of dairy. I do still enjoy my ice cream from time to time. I don't like to say no to that, as well as pizza, which I don't have very often. Maybe once a week, every other week, I might have a little bit of ice cream. But other than that, I have no dairy. I switched all my milk to almond milk and that has made a huge difference. I don't have any cheese on anything. Even when I have burritos, I just have guacamole. I've removed all cheese, all dairy, and it has improved my skin.
Number nine, what do you do for self-care? Ladies, this is so important. I find with me, because I give so much energy to my girls that I sometimes lack the self-care for myself. So I know I have to practice what I preach. So I am owning up to the fact that I need to give myself more self-care. For me, some of my favorites are to go to Lush. So Lush is vegan and pretty inexpensive and their products are amazing and have minimal ingredients. They don't add chemicals and it's all basically ingredients that you would find in a kitchen. I will do a face mask, I'll do a bubble bath, I'll go into chapters or indigo and look at some amazing self-help books or fitness books or and just be in my zone, just looking at different things that I enjoy. That is what I do for my self-care. Everybody's self-care will be different. Oh, and I also love a good nature hike. That is really fun too. I absolutely love anything that has to do with skincare and health wise. So my favorite self care is definitely going on a nature hike. I love them. I think they're so much fun and you can get in a good cardio session and enjoy scenery. All right, number 10 is minimizing social media. This is so hard for me because I basically work on social media and putting away the phones and putting away the television, the Netflix, the computers, it's crazy how much time we actually spend on social media. I have gone through a couple social media cleanses where I literally turn off my Instagram, take it off my phone so that I'm not tempted to go on it. And I'll do this for about four days. And well, I've done this once before and it felt amazing. So if you haven't done so, I would try doing a social media cleanse. No movies, no phones, and try it out. See if you like it. Number 11 is protein ice cream it is so good ladies this is my number one treat okay i'm gonna have to make some tonight and i'll show you you could have nutella flavor peanut butter marshmallow and it basically tastes like a healthy delicious froyo and it is way less calories and is basically a big bowl of deliciousness. I have a big appetite, so you can literally fill up a massive bowl with delicious, healthy Froyo, and it is so good. So I'll show you how I make mine tonight. So I just got back from the gym. My mom's in the background too. And I love making a protein ice cream, so I'll show you what it looks like. It looks disgusting, but I promise it is delicious. Ladies, we gotta fill up on our healthy fats, our healthy avocados, coconut oil, MCT oil, chia seeds, flax seeds, almond butters, dark chocolate. We got to fill up on our healthy fats. It helps regulate our hormones, getting our period back, our menstrual cycle, and gives us that energy to do everyday tasks. So if you find you are low energy or you're feeling lethargic, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, but I would try and add in some more fats and see how you feel. When it comes to working out, I have seen so many ladies just do random workouts. And this kills me because when you do random workouts, it's really hard to see your progress. You can't see your progress from four weeks ago or eight weeks ago because you're doing a different workout every time you go into the gym, which is fun, for sure it's fun. But if you're lacking confidence or you're lacking energy and you're lacking that self-esteem, you need to start seeing results in the gym. And I know results is not always linear. It's not always physical. But if you find that your self-confidence is lacking, your self-esteem is lacking, and you want to see results, then apply for my Beyond Bikini Transformation Program at hannahmccray.com. And I'll link it in the description box. Never miss a Monday. I always tell this to my girls, never miss a Monday when it comes to your fitness. So our attention on Monday is to always set the week up for success in terms of our morning rituals, our morning routines, our gratitude, our eating. When you set up Monday for success, the rest of the week 
will be so much easier, okay? Because if you missed a Monday, then you missed a Tuesday, then you missed a Wednesday, then the whole week you're like, oh my gosh, why do I feel like crap? It's because you missed a Monday. So if you did miss a Monday, don't worry, just get back on track right away and don't let it go into a spiral where it's a couple weeks, a couple months, lead to a couple years, and you're not feeling your best. So never miss a Monday to ensure that you set up your week for success. Number 15, ladies, what you do in private, you wear in public. I don't know if you've seen my binge eating or my transformation photos or my videos. I talk a little bit about my binge eating, which I can definitely do for another video. Again, I'm not a doctor, so I'm just gonna say the things that worked for me because I did struggle with it. I would literally go into bathrooms and washrooms when I was in university. I was struggling with a lot of self-confidence and self-esteem issues. And I would literally go and grab chips and chocolate and eat it in the bathroom, which I'm okay sharing with now because thank you, Jesus. I don't struggle with that anymore, but it is a serious thing. It was something that I couldn't share or talk about because of my shame and my guilt. I didn't really have anyone at that time who I could share those insecurities with and share these things in my life that were affecting me. And you always have me to come to as well if you ever are experiencing anything, but I found an outlet which was fitness. And once I was able to conquer my body, I was able to conquer my mind. So whatever you're going through, get into the gym, start having that connection with your body, with how you feel, feel strong physically. And that was how I was able to break down this barrier so I could feel strong mentally. But that takes time, it does not happen overnight. So start today, start now, and don't let it go on anymore. Sorry, but if you want me to do another video on this, just let me know in the description and I am more than happy to talk about it. All right, number 16 is don't say no to wine. So I'm reading an amazing book right now called Blue Zones and he talks about how he visits all these different amazing places in the world and how he is able to form better relationships with food. People live longer, they're happier, they have less diseases, they don't have cancer, and it is mind blowing. And he said the number one thing that these people do is they don't miss out on their wine, which is incredible. So he doesn't say to go and get drunk and wasted and drink bottles of wine every day. But if you're with your friends and your family and there's a good emotion behind it, where you're not drinking because of some hurt or anger or resentment, you're drinking because you want to have fun and you want to enjoy the people that you're with. Wine actually has something in it called Reservatrol and they called this the French paradox because if you've ever been to France, they can drink so much wine, have so much bread, and they don't gain weight. And like I said, when you have that tribe, you have that community, you have those feel good hormones and you're drinking with people as opposed to doing it in private, like I said in the previous note, there's a different reaction to it where you're doing it out of love instead of out of something that's deep inside of you that's hurt. My favorite wine is a Chardonnay. I absolutely love it. It is so delicious. And my favorite red, red makes me a little bit more sleepy, so I don't drink this as often, but I love rich full-bodied reds like a Cabernet or a Cabernet Sauvignon. So don't pass up on your wine, ladies. All right, so number 17 is to wash your face every morning and every night. So sometimes I would just wash my face at nighttime. I read that because our body produces natural oils that it's not good to strip the face every morning but I found that there was still excess dirt on my face. Because I am acne prone, I do wash my face every morning and every night, and I found for me that that makes a huge difference. When you're washing your face, I'm not a beauty guru or anything, but I have found that washing and stroking up with your face, it makes a huge difference in the clarity of your skin and making sure that your blood flow and everything is just moving around properly. So wash your face every morning and every night. Number 18 is always bring something with you, whether that be a protein bar, a healthy granola bar, some nuts, berries, fruit, whatever it is, 
always make sure that you have a meal with you maybe in your purse or get a meal prep bag because it makes a huge difference like if you get stuck late at work you work a double or you just don't have time to go somewhere so you grab like a chocolate bar or a bag of chips from the candy machine it is so much better ladies to always just have a protein bar on hand some nuts some fruit something to just keep in your fridge or if not something that is good to not have in a fridge and just be prepared because transformers tribe girls are always prepared whenever i'm at a new gym i always see this and it is so cringeworthy it is static stretching before a workout if you've not seen my stretching video a static stretch is typically a stretch that is pulling for a long period of time you find you're getting injured really easily or you're always so sore and it's uncomfortable then you're probably doing static stretching when you want to be doing dynamic so dynamic is movements that you're doing with your body you're warming it up but not holding movements for a long period of time so i highly suggest that you go watch my stretching video all right, tip number 20, ladies, is a really good one, and that is to get outside, okay? So whenever you feel stressed or anxious or lonely, get outside, take your dog for a walk, or ask your neighbor to go for a walk, ask your family member or friend to go with you, and just get out in nature. Go by yourself. I promise you feel so much. Tip number 21 is eat more plants and vegetables. Eat more vegetables feels so much better you're more energized you're more confident your body feels good it feels lighter you're faster your skin is glowing there's so many vets there's so many benefits to eating vegetables late ladies filling your body with junk and carbohydrates and all these processed fats and foods that are just gonna wear you out so eat your vegetables if you can't make it or don't have time find a meal prep company hire someone hire a trainer do what you have to do. Healthy habit number 22 is dogs. I love my dog. He is my best friend. He goes everywhere with me and I do not know what I'd do without him. Anytime I need a cuddle buddy or I need some love, he just snuggles his little nose into me and it is just the cutest thing. I got him when I was in university in my second year and he lived with me when I was with three girls. So he absolutely loves cuddles, loves attention. If you feel lonely, get a dog. Make sure you have the room for it. Make sure that you have the time and the effort to take care of it because a dog is literally just like a baby, especially if he's a puppy. He is a lot of work. So make sure that you can give it the love it needs to he was just sleeping i just woke him up from his bed hi honey he has i took him for a walk earlier and he has a little stick on the well it's gonna be your left but my right side he has a little stick right beside his nose <laughs> i don't know if you can see it he's like mom what are you doing I don't like cameras, Mom. Mm, he just cuddles up into me. Don't you, baby? And he sleeps with me. Who needs boys when you have a puppy? Number 23. Surround yourself with positivity. I cannot stress this enough. If you have friends or people in your life who just gossip all the time, talk about negativity, talk about their problems, other people's problems, that's even worse, then you gotta kindly remove them. They could be amazing people. And when I started my fitness journey, I had to kindly remove about 99% of my friend group. They were great people, they were fun, they were kind, they were generous, they were really good true friends. But all of our conversations were just about gossip, negativity, who slept with who. These were the conversations I knew from my own growth I could not have anymore. I want to have positive relationships. I want to have positive relationships with people who care about their growth. So if you find some of your friends are not growing or not caring or not caring to grow, physical bodies and their own mental bodies and they're just kind of staying the same you can love on them you can still have them around but if you're feeling like it's affecting your own growth then kindly remove them and it's hard i've had to do it too even with friends or family that's even worse that's even the hardest part is when it's a family member but you just got to do it there's you can as i said you can still love on them but in terms of your own growth, 
we are the product of the five people you hang out with. So if you're hanging out with, let's say you're hanging out with three girls, Nancy, Sue, and Darlene, and all of those girls do not care about their physical bodies. They don't care about their mental bodies or their spiritual bodies. So your own growth is only gonna be maximized by their own growth. So if they aren't growing, then you're not gonna have any other incentive to increase your own growth. I'm not a morning riser, help me God, I wish I was. Number 24 is to wake up early. This is one of my biggest 2019 resolutions. I would love to wake up early. And God, give me grace, I need to do that. <laughs> I need to start waking up at 6 a.m. or even 5 a.m. But if you're having trouble, let's say doing cardio or getting your workouts in, getting it in as soon as you wake up is the best thing for you because you get it out of the way and you have your entire day to focus on work, your family, your personal life, your goals, and that's all out of the way. So I suggest to wake up, try it out, take me, let me know if you wake up early, give me some inspiration for that. Tip number 25. Minimum seven to eight hours, ladies, for our hormones, just to feel good, to have energy during the day. We need our sleep. We need our sleep so that our body functions properly. So make sure you're getting in your seven to eight hours. When it comes to drinking, you gotta eliminate the coolers, the beer, the sugary cocktails, the margaritas. All of these drinks add up to be thousands of calories. Thousands of calories wasted. On top of that, the sugar intake is insane, okay? And if we're intaking way too many calories, that's all gonna be packed on as fat. So if you want that lean and toned body, you gotta make sure that you're picking and choosing the right drinks. So I don't even remember the last time I had a cooler. I used to love them in high school and university. I probably would drink four or six and then have a crazy bad hangover because of all the sugar. But all that sugar, I think one cooler has like three or 400 calories, no nutrients either. So it's not something that you want to have. So get rid of the coolers, get rid of the beer, get rid of the sugary cocktails. If you love cocktails and margaritas, maybe try having half sweet. If you do want a drink, I do love a vodka soda with lime and lemon. I think it's really tasty and delicious and you're not getting all the extra calories from the sugar. Oh, number 28 is to always have fruit available. Not only does it make your kitchen and fridge look aesthetic, but it is delicious. It's packed with fiber and nutrients and curbs this sweet tooth. So always have fruit available. Number 29, so I've been doing this with some of my girls, is to try and hit 10,000 steps a day. So if you're sitting a lot, if you have a desk job, if you're in your car a lot driving around, getting in steps is so, so, so important. I like to track it on my Apple Watch. I'm not wearing one today, but I can link it in the description of where you can pick one up. It is amazing, or a Fitbit as well. So that way you can track your calories in and make sure that you're moving and staying energized. So I typically don't eat first thing in the morning. I like to just let my body fast a little bit longer and my stomach isn't growling. So if your stomach is not growling first thing in the morning, ladies, you don't gotta eat, okay? So if your stomach is growling at eight in the morning, then you should probably eat something. But if your stomach doesn't start growling till about noon or 1 p.m., which for me, that is when my stomach starts growling, then I suggest holding off. If you are on the go a lot and you do work a nine to five, that your meal is prepped. So the worst thing is to not have any food and grab a cookie from Tim Hortons or a bagel or something that's quick and just gonna leave you feeling tired and hungry in an hour. So prep your meal beforehand, prep your meal the night before and make sure your breakfast is prepared. So my 30 healthy habits are all done. I hope you absolutely love them and got a couple, at least one or two tidbits of information that you didn't know before. Let me know in the... My 30 healthy habits video is all done. I hope you loved it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And add me on Instagram at Hannah J. McRae and have an amazing day. Because life is beautiful.